At our Spring Tech Ed Conference, I saw a presentation on students building skis and snowboards, and I knew this was the perfect application for our STEM curriculum. The first time I heard about the ski project was last year I was in AutoCAD. I'm an avid skier, so I'm, I was interested. My first thoughts were that it wasn't going to happen. I just felt like that doesn't really sound like a real thing to do. That just got me right away. I mean, you don't really go to school thinking you're going to make skis. I think I'm most looking forward to, uh, I don't know, really developing my passion for skiing, like getting on the mountain with these skis that I made and seeing it all come together. You know, I'm taking inspiration from other skis that I, you know, my dream skis or whatever, and I get to build my own ski. I think that'll be amazing. Next, we take the students over to Seattle to K2 Sports and Lion Ski so that they could see how skis are put together professionally before they actually did it themselves. It's pretty surreal. It's pretty cool. I mean, I didn't expect a quarter mile warehouse. Then we got an actual tour to see what they do around here like on a daily basis. And it was just really cool to see what they do on a professional level, like very efficiently and what we're actually going to do. The same software that we're using in the classroom is what they're using here. It's been really cool to see the process. It just makes it seem so much more real. I really liked the pressing, where everything kind of comes together. You could just see the whole process in one step. It's been really cool to get in here and see the environment of K2 in line. The culture here seems really, really laid back, and I think that allows for a lot of the innovation in that kind of mindset. It's really cool to see people who are as excited about building skis as, as I am and as I was at their age but actually be able to show them what's going on and what's going on beneath the surface, so. So the students have finished their designs and their software, the cores are cut out, now it's time for construction, so this is the exciting part, this is what we've been waiting for. And so it's great timing, John Hadley, uh, an expert ski crafter, was able to come in and help us with our first layout. I really like doing this. There's a lot of communication, a lot of figuring out, a lot of head scratching, and a lot of work. whole process was sweet. I love the sanding, just that one millimeter changes the whole character of the ski, you know? The coolest part for me is seeing that glue go down and then laying those layers down. It's pretty neat to see the just kind of all stick together. The craziest part of it all was that the governor happened to be at our school and he stopped by to help out. So that was pretty cool. The governor helped build my skis. I was a little surprised just at how kind of simple it was. We kind of smush it all together, leave it there for a few hours, and then out pops a ski. First time opening up the bag and pulling the skis out, it's just, wow. Yeah, that's what I've kind of looked forward to the whole time, is feeling that final product and not just designing it on the computer, but actually being able to say, I, I built this, I made this. Didn't really seem like it was going to be all come together, but now that we're up here skiing on them, it's kind of kind of awesome just to ride them and know that you put all this together with 
classmates and your teacher. And Life is so glorious, it was meant for us to be victorious. Pretty crazy to just finally get on and ski on them. And I'm happy to have a product that, you know, we just took up on the mountain and that was pretty good. It was kind of reassuring to me that I could actually do this. Because I know that in the future, this could really be an amazing career. Life is beautiful, enjoy the things you see. Do not destroy them.